Did you know over 100,000 Americans start dialysis each year due to elevated creatinine levels, leading to kidney failure? This alarming statistic could include anyone, but fear not. Our latest video is your beacon of hope. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here, because today I'm going to share with you 10 simple daily habits that can quickly lower your creatinine levels and help you avoid dialysis. High creatinine levels can indicate that your kidneys are failing and that you may need dialysis, which is a treatment that artificially removes waste products and excess fluid from your blood. Dialysis can be life-saving, but it can also be very inconvenient, expensive, and risky. That's why it's so important to lower your creatinine levels and improve your kidney function before it's too late. And the good news is that you can do that by following some simple daily habits that can make a huge difference for your kidney health. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 easy and effective habits that can help you lower your creatinine levels naturally and prevent or delay the need for dialysis. These habits are based on scientific research and proven results, and they are suitable for anyone who wants to take care of their kidneys and overall health. Discover how these 10 easy-to-follow daily habits can significantly reduce your creatinine levels. These habits are practical, backed by science, and can seamlessly fit into your daily routine, offering you a chance to prevent the dreaded outcome of kidney failure. These 10 habits are simple, but they are also very powerful and effective. They can help you lower your creatinine levels quickly and safely, and they can also improve your overall health and well-being. So, are you ready to learn these 10 habits and start lowering your creatinine levels today? Number 1. No Vigorous Exercise Let's talk about a simple change that can significantly benefit your kidney health, reducing intense physical activities. It's not as hard as it sounds. Instead of engaging in strenuous exercises like heavy weightlifting, rapid running, or participating in marathons, consider gentler options. Keeping your heart rate in the sweet spot of 100 to 120 beats per minute during exercise is key. Activities like brisk walking, swimming, or light aerobics are excellent choices. They're not only enjoyable but also kinder to your kidneys. Here's the science behind it. Vigorous exercises can temporarily elevate creatinine levels in your blood, indicating increased strain on your kidneys. However, this effect is usually short-lived lasting about two to three days before levels return to normal. By choosing milder forms of exercise, you're helping maintain steady creatinine levels, which is crucial for good kidney health. Remember, it's about finding a balance that keeps your body active while being gentle on your kidneys. Number 2. Avoid smoking. Smoking can damage your blood vessels and reduce blood flow to your kidneys, which can impair their ability to filter out creatinine and other toxins. Smoking can also increase your blood pressure, which can harm your kidneys and raise your creatinine levels. According to a study, smokers have higher creatinine levels than non-smokers, and quitting smoking can lower creatinine levels by 10% within one year. Another study found that smoking cessation can improve kidney function and reduce the risk of kidney failure and death in people with chronic kidney disease. Therefore, it is advisable to quit smoking if you want to lower your creatinine levels and protect your kidneys. Quitting smoking can also reduce your risk of other diseases, such as heart disease, stroke, and cancer. Quitting smoking is not easy, but it is possible. You can use various methods and strategies to help you quit, such as nicotine replacement therapy, medication, counseling, hypnosis, acupuncture, or support groups. You can also ask your doctor for advice and assistance. Quitting smoking is a simple but effective habit that can help you lower your creatinine levels and avoid dialysis. So, try to kick the habit and enjoy the benefits of being smoke-free. Number 3. No Supplement Let's talk about a crucial aspect of kidney health that often goes unnoticed, the impact of certain supplements, particularly those containing creatine or creatinine. This advice is especially relevant for those who are into muscle building, as these supplements are popular in that community for their ability to enhance muscle growth quickly. 
Creatine, when ingested, is converted into creatinine in the body. While creatine is well known for its benefits in muscle development and energy boosting, it poses a lesser known risk to kidney health. Scientific studies have shown that excessive intake of creatine can lead to an increase in the body's creatinine levels. This increase is a concern because creatinine is a waste product that the kidneys filter out of the blood. The primary function of the kidneys is to filter waste and extra fluids from the blood. When creatinine levels are high, it indicates that the kidneys may not be working as effectively as they should. In individuals with pre-existing kidney conditions or those at risk, the extra burden from increased creatinine levels can exacerbate kidney problems, potentially leading to chronic kidney disease or worsen kidney function. Number 4. Reduce Protein Intake Reducing protein intake, particularly from sources like red meat and dairy products, can have a significant impact on kidney health. This doesn't necessarily mean adopting a completely vegan or vegetarian diet, although these are healthy options. The focus is on being conscious of the type and amount of protein consumed. Red meat and dairy are high in certain proteins that, when metabolized, result in the production of more creatinine, a waste product that the kidneys filter from the blood. When these protein sources are consumed in large amounts, they can temporarily increase the level of creatinine putting additional strain on the kidneys to filter this excess. Scientific research has shown that a diet lower in protein, especially animal protein, can be beneficial for people with kidney issues or at risk of developing them. This is because a lower protein diet reduces the kidney's workload, thereby slowing the progression of kidney disease and improving overall kidney function. This doesn't mean protein should be entirely eliminated from the diet, as it's essential for various bodily functions, but rather that the source and amount of protein should be carefully considered to support your kidney health effectively. Consider a balanced approach to protein intake by focusing on leaner sources like chicken and plant-based options. A moderate consumption of chicken, approximately 2 to 3 servings per week, is ideal. Each serving, ideally 3 to 4 ounces, 85 to 113 grams, about the size of a deck of cards, provides enough protein to meet your dietary needs without overburdening your kidneys. In addition to lean meats, incorporating plant-based proteins into your diet can be highly beneficial. Options such as vegan chicken patties are not only delightful and satisfying but also tend to be easier to digest. These plant-based alternatives have a minimal impact on creatinine levels, making them an excellent choice for maintaining healthy kidney function. Number 5. Eat More Fibers Increasing fiber intake is an essential step towards better kidney health. Incorporating high-fiber foods into one's diet, such as apples, can make a significant difference. An effective and convenient way to boost fiber intake is by using supplements like Benafiber. This fiber supplement, which contains a higher fiber content, can be easily added to various meals without changing their texture or flavor. Even mixing it with water is an option, as it remains undetectable while effectively increasing fiber consumption by about 4 to 8 grams per meal. Aiming for a daily fiber intake of 30 to 35 grams is not only achievable but also beneficial for kidney health. Scientific evidence supports the role of dietary fiber in improving overall health, including that of the kidneys. Fiber aids in digestion and helps maintain steady blood sugar levels, reducing the strain on the kidneys. Additionally, a high-fiber diet is linked to lower risks of developing various kidney-related conditions, including chronic kidney disease. It helps in managing blood pressure and reducing inflammation both of which are crucial for maintaining healthy kidney function. Number 6. Limit Salt Intake Salt, or sodium, can increase your blood pressure and fluid retention, which can worsen your kidney function and increase your creatinine levels. High blood pressure can damage the blood vessels and the kidneys, which can impair their ability to filter out creatinine and other waste products. Fluid retention can also cause swelling, shortness of breath, and heart problems. Therefore, it is recommended to limit your salt intake to no more than 2,000 mg per day, or about 1 teaspoon. 
This amount may vary depending on your individual needs and your doctor's advice. To reduce your salt intake, you should read food labels and choose low-sodium or sodium-free products. Avoid foods that have more than 300 mg of sodium per serving. Avoid processed and fast foods, such as canned soups, frozen meals, chips, pizza, burgers, and fries. These foods are often high in sodium, as well as fat, sugar, and calories. Use herbs and spices instead of salt to flavor your food. Some examples are garlic, onion, ginger, basil, oregano, parsley, and lemon. These herbs and spices can also provide antioxidants and other health benefits. Cook your own food at home as much as possible. This way, you can control the amount and type of salt you use. You can also use salt substitutes, such as potassium chloride, but consult your doctor before using them, as they may not be suitable for everyone. Limiting salt intake is a simple but effective habit that can help you lower your creatinine levels and avoid dialysis. So, try to cut down on salt and enjoy the natural flavors of your food. Number 7. Drink water. Drinking more water is a remarkably simple yet effective strategy for enhancing kidney health, and it's probably the most straightforward habit to adopt. Contrary to the popular guideline of drinking an amount in ounces that's half your body weight in pounds, scientific research suggests a more nuanced approach. The Institute of Medicine recommends a daily water intake of about 3.7 liters, 125 ounces, for men and 2.7 liters, 91 ounces, for women which includes all beverages and water-rich foods. The science behind this practice is clear and compelling. The kidneys are vital organs responsible for filtering and removing waste products and toxins from the blood, processing them into urine. Adequate hydration is essential for this process. When the body is well hydrated, it aids the kidneys in functioning more efficiently. Water helps in diluting the substances in urine that lead to kidney stones and other complications. Moreover, studies have shown that increased water intake can help in reducing the risk of chronic kidney disease and can slow the progression of existing kidney issues. By maintaining optimal hydration, the kidneys can better manage the body's fluid balance, regulate blood pressure, and ensure the proper functioning of other bodily processes. However, these are general guidelines, and the actual requirement can vary based on factors like climate, activity level, and overall health. For instance, in hotter climates or during intense physical activity, the body loses more water through sweat and thus might require a higher intake. Conversely, in cooler conditions or during less active periods, the body's water requirement may decrease. It's also crucial for individuals with certain kidney conditions to consult healthcare professionals for personalized hydration advice, as their kidneys may not be able to handle the usual fluid load effectively. I hope you have enjoyed this video and found it useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay healthy and happy.